This video will demonstrate how to conditionally limit the values of a lookup in IBM's Maxima. For this, I will be using the RM App Developer Perspective in TRM's Rules Manager Studio. I am using this tool because it will vastly simplify the process of limiting values seen in a Maximo lookup. First, let me demonstrate how the work order tracking application works out of the box and how I want it to change. To open this application in the web browser, I will right click on the Maximo application I am configuring in the App Explorer on the left and select the Open with Internet Browser option. This will bring, bring me directly to the work order tracking application. Selecting the first record on my list page, I can see it has a location of shipping, but no asset. I will then bring up the lookup for the asset field. By default, this field shows me all assets in any location. By selecting the first value, which is outside my location, I get a follow-up dialog. By restricting the values in this lookup, I can significantly simplify and make more efficient use of my user's time. They will not have to wade through assets not in this work order's location. To restrict the values in this lookup, I will open the WoTrack app editor by right-clicking on the WoTrack application in the App Explorer on the left and selecting the Edit option. The WoTrack editor will then open. I will find the field with the lookup I would like to restrict or filter and right click. I will then select the lookup filter option. This creates a lookup or value list filter on this field and opens the editor for that filter. I will then set the object type I would like to filter in this case, assets, and the additional where clause I want to add. I will this also condition, add a condition to, create to only apply using this a simple script. If a location the has script been editor supplied. page of my data filter will provide me with Content Assist. Content Assist guides me as I create my condition. It will tell me what fields and other variables I can access. Furthermore, it will validate my script to ensure I did not make any typos. I will tell my server it has new configurations and then verify my configuration is working. My first record will now only display values in the shipping location. Removing the location I will now see all assets. See our other tutorials on how you can create a walkthrough of this configuration for training, or to verify it each time you update your system.